Uh, Governor Sarah Palin tweeted, and I thought she gave you some interesting advice, and yeah. I want to get your take on it. Christine O'Donnell's strategy, time's limited. Use it to connect with local voters whom you'll be serving versus appeasing national media seeking your destruction. She's absolutely right. Governor Palin is right. That's a great piece of advice, and that's exactly what we're doing. I had some business in New York today, so thank you for having me on, but our focus is... Delaware. I'm going immediately back to Delaware. We've got a packed schedule tomorrow and attending a ladies' luncheon. And it, uh, does, I love it, it. does that mean, for example, all the talk about you got to do this national show, that national show? No, is that off the table for you? It's off the table because that's not going to help me get votes. Mm -hmm. I instead want to go to as many town hall forums, as many candidate forums, as many church picnics that I can fit into my schedule so that I can meet the voters. Delaware has a very unique opportunity that other Senate candidates don't have, where I can be in every county at least every week, but like tomorrow every day. I'm mm -hmm. going to be in every county tomorrow. So you're, you're going to forget the, the, the taunting, if you will, of the right. national media. Let them say what they will. Okay. I, and yeah. you're going to, it seemed Rand Paul went through the same thing. He started yes. doing a lot of national media, then he said, you know what, I'm sticking with Kentucky. So you're saying no to the national media. I'm now. not going to do any more national media because that this mm -hmm. is my focus. Delaware is my focus and the local media is my focus. Well, and it's it's frustrating because I've let the local media know they're my priority, but our phones are ringing off the hook that they can't get to me. So this, mm -hmm. it's actually become an interference with the campaign. What about debates? Um, I know there was a candidate's forum last night by the Tea That's Party right. movement. Your opponent didn't show up. No, he didn't. Yeah. It's interesting because um, a, a liberal Democrat organization has a a debate two days after the primary, and that's a, a long-standing tradition. Right. And I went. I went to that. And he was there. And he was the there. Bearded, and did you call him the bearded Marxist, <laughs> or is that the media saying? He made, that's the media saying. It, but if the media is going to attack me for statements I made in my twenties, yeah. then that's fair game. He made some very anti-American statements, apologizing for America and calling himself a bearded Marxist. And that's a shame because at that forum, he pledged before a liberal audience that he wasn't going to go mudslinging. He wasn't going to bring up what either candidate said in their 20s, and that's exactly what he's doing. And yet he's ducking the difficult forums. So he'll only go to the friendly forums, but he blew off the Tea Party forum last night. Yeah. So he knows that he has a record that he can't defend.